Hi, Leo. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated career, health, and money reading. Cheers. Now, these are general messages. Not everything will resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. I will be setting intentions for your health, for your money, and your career. Manifest all that with me. I have your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. I have already put up your reading for love, current situation, and your new future lover. Watch that reading, my darlings. That covers just about everything, right? Health, career, money now, and I've already put your love reading up. So that will tell you all the facets of your beautiful life, Leo. Now, this reading is going to be divided into two parts. The first part is going to be your current health money situation. And the second is going to be what is coming towards you, the future. You ready? Let's start with the current energy. What is the general current energy for Leo? Health, money, career. So Leo's, please. Leo's, please. Wow. Insecurity. Insecurity. Some of you are very insecure about your money. And I don't know why about your health. And this is talking about the heart. If some of you, and you are the heart, Leo, that is your energy. Anahata. You rule that. It's ruled by the sun. So if you have some kind of insecurity about money, some of you could be feeling very insecure right now. Maybe your finances haven't grown as much as you wanted them to. This could also be about some of you. Get your hearts checked. I don't know why I felt the need to say that because this is like the devil, you know, um, kind of affecting somebody's heart. And you are the heart energy. I want to put this up there because it's only for health, career, and money. Prayer. You know, this has got drink. It's got food on the table. I want you to know that some of you could be eating wrongly. Please just take cognizance of that. Secondly, you're being asked to, for me, prayer is like setting intentions with, you know, a higher, more intelligent source than us a more powerful energetic being, set intentions, say your prayers. Whatever insecurity you're feeling right now can be removed because you have your soulmate. You can see this talks about the third eye. I want you to know that something, some kind of a partnership is coming towards you for work. That could be your soulmate. Soulmate doesn't have to always be romantic, right? It can be your best friend. Maybe a best friend of yours is going to come towards you and give you an opportunity for work. I don't know, some of you work in the food and beverage industry. He's putting this out there, Leo. Your soulmate is coming. And I'm setting intentions that you're going to find the right person in terms of a boss, in terms of a company or an organization. And also, your soulmate for help, the right doctor, the right medicine, the right hospital, everything, Leo, it's coming for you, okay? So this is your current energy. That was the first message I have. Now I'll take my little moments and go on to some more messages for your current situation for health, money, career. Excellent. Talking to a divine masculine here. A divine masculine. Uh, this for me is my water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have the dog. This is loyalty. If some of you are worried about someone's loyalty at your workplace, do not. This talks about supreme loyalty. This is the number 18. If this number means anything to you, okay? Uh, this is about friendship and loyalty. This is Uranus in Aquarius. Now, when the energy of Aquarius comes out, okay? This talks about small groups and association and this reading is about work. If there is loyalty at your workplace. Do not worry. Please do not worry. Now, I also have the card of the home. Some of you could be buying a new home and I'm setting intentions for that. And I have the book. This for me is a book of secrets. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here who's an author. It's so number 26. Somebody who writes, who publishes, or who's a bookkeeper, accounts. This is Neptune and Pisces, okay? And I'll give you some, some messages I'm getting. If you've been working with somebody at your workplace, okay, your colleagues, there's a lot of confusion. Or you feel that there are secrets. There is loyalty. And I want you to believe that. And this home could also be, you know, your the building where you work in, for that matter. There is loyalty. I'm telling you, th there could be a lot of confusion where you feel like, you know, the book has, has to be open and they're hiding. They're not. 
They're not. And I'm so happy to give you this message, here, Leo. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'll give you another message for work and health. Some of you are buying a new home, telling you this. Also with the book of secrets, if there has been something that you've been trying to research for help, you will be given the answers. Setting that intention for you as well. Leo's current. Wow. Excellent. Now look at how sweetly these cards have come on. This was one divine masculine. This is another. This for me is my water sign. This is my fire sign, just like you. Aries, Leo, Sag. I don't know who this is. Very passionate. Look at all that Mars energy. This is somebody who's very driven for work. I mean, they're very health conscious. Somebody who's extremely fit. Their body is on point. They eat well. There is this energy of you becoming the boss. This is Mars in Aries. I'm telling you, this whoever this is, there is going to be some kind of a raise or a promotion coming towards you where you are going to be in this position of power. This is sheer power, Mars and Aries. It's like the, it's, it's the boss, the emperor. You have this potential coming towards you and I'm setting intentions for you, Leo. If you've been wanting to get that next position, it's coming. You are going to be given that position of power, the boss. It's coming for you, Leo. Grab it. You know, that card of the soulmate that came out in the first message. This is my card of that. This is the heart energy, your energy again. If you remember the first message of the heart. I'm setting intentions for you here. You're somebody's heart is being, you know, is being hurt. It's going to be healed. And if somebody's having any kind of heart problems, do not worry. Your heart is going to be healed. Or there's somebody around you suffering from some heart problems. Don't worry. Do not worry. And perfect soulmate is coming towards you as in your partner. This swan's made for life. You are going to be brought together with a group, an organization. Who is your soulmate? You're looking at each other in, in the eyes. There is no bullshitting. You're on the same page. And this has a potential, long-term potential. And because this is the heart energy, your energy, Leo energy, it's about your creative projects. Somebody here is going to become their own boss. And I'm setting intentions for you. Starting your own business, you're going to find that right partnership. Your creative ideas have that potential to grow because you're going to meet up and you're going to partner up with people who are just like you. Your goals are the same. And last but not least, some of you could be in transition, moving away from one kind of work to another. You're becoming your own boss. It's also about delivery. Okay? And about faithfulness. We have the dog there. You can trust the stocks to, you know, fly out in the morning, find the food and come back home. This is that kind of energy. There is loyalty around you. This also talks about building a nest. Some of you are going to be buying a home. I'm setting intentions for that. And as you can see, there is potential for new growth something brand new you are giving birth to your baby in terms of work you are going to take over you know you're going to take charge and you are going to create your own fabulous business i feel this i'm talking to somebody entrepreneur that's what i mean and it has a potential to just grow you know some of you could be moving places as well you know cities or towns to nest somewhere else to start this business and if you are congratulations and I wish you all the success, Leo. Now, I also want to say there's somebody here who's <clears throat> expecting you're going to have a very safe delivery. You know, the stocks deliver the baby with that little bundle. Don't worry about that. It's all going to be fine. Okay? Um, or if there's somebody you know who's delivering a baby, do not worry about it. Let's see what Skipper has to do for your current health, money, career situation. Okay. Oh. Now. I have the divine, oops, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. I don't know if this is a couple. Uh, this, this could be two partners in a business. Now, there has been, I don't know if both of you have been trying to create something because I have not hiring. This is a card of, you know, despair. And have the card of poverty. You've gone through some period uh, in your business where you've seen this energy, where you felt um, 
like nothing is working. Either nobody is buying your stuff or you've not had any kind of income. You've had a lot of insecurities, if you remember, about money. And I think your business has closed down. There's been an end. And I'm so sorry to, to say that. There's going to be good news for you. I don't know if you have, I don't know why I feel it's something legal, Leo. Just let me know. It's going to be good news coming your way. And I want you to believe in that. I know it's very dark right now. I think some of you have almost decided to shut your business or shut shop. But there's good news, whether this is a loan coming your way, this is some kind of funds coming your way, this is some new partnership coming your way. I'm setting intentions for you, Leo. Okay, good news is coming your way. Let's take another message. Wait for that, okay? So don't just give up yet. Spirit, give me another message. Leo, sir. Current health, love. Current health, work, career situation. I put up your love reading. Go and watch that as well, Leo. Oh, boy. Leo, I do not want you to be in this energy, okay? I know somebody is in this energy. Preoccupied with despair and poverty. There's somebody here who's very insecure about money. And it's, it's you were not able to look at things clearly. Because this is a number 33. This number means anything to you. This is somebody who's not does not have all the knowledge yet. Do not make a hasty decision. And I'll tell you why. The card of somebody being having doom, gloom. You please stop consciously co-creating this. I know it's I know it's hard for you, but I just want to say this to you, Leo. Stop this. You know why? And it's been for a long time you've been waiting. There's good news coming your way. But now, by the way, this is a card of Capricorn. Okay. Saturn, he's a very hard task master. He's made you go around some mountain. And this is two people in a partnership for work that they've suffered ups and downs in their business. And somebody is close to shutting it down. Wait for this good news. And this card of doom and gloom, you don't have all the answers yet. Don't make a hasty decision. Do not. Message, jackpot, jackpot. You are going to suddenly receive money and I'm, put, I'm setting this intention for you. I don't care where and how it comes. That's not my problem. That's their problem. You have put in the work, a lot of hard work, I think. And it's, it's, it's two people who've been fighting for a business. You are going to get this loan, this money, this grant, and it's going to come out of the blue, out of the blue. And I'm also setting intentions for somebody here who's worried about their money. Don't worry, jackpot energy is around you. I want, to, I want to take some cards from my angels of abundance for your current health, career, money situation. Thank you, Spirit. For Leos, please. For my Leos. For my Leos. Face your financial fears. Leos, I know the money is not good right now. I know it. I can sense it from this reading. Please just face it. Once you put it down on paper, just make, I mean, get somebody to help you with it. Don't just be scared to even look at it. It's its not helping you, Leo. Face that fear. So once you're honest with where you've screwed up or what is screwing you up, just expose those fears. One drop of sunlight will banish it away. And I'm setting this intention for you. Okay. Dreams of abundance. This talks about setting intention. That card of prayer, remember? Set those intentions. Pray. I told you, prayer doesn't have to be religious. It can be setting intentions to whoever you believe in. The Almighty, your passed on loved ones, angels, higher, whoever. For me, prayer is setting intentions for what I want for myself. Do it. Do it. Set intentions for abundance. You know why? Remember the card I told you? Jackpot. There you go. Windfall of abundance is coming your way. Windfall. I don't know where. And this is like Christmas. It's right around the corner. You know, for me, Santa Claus is always Jupiter. You have a lot of Saturn energy, which has made you do something over and over again. You know, keep doing the work. Well, he's coming in to bless you. It's the exact opposite energy of Saturn. He just gives you gifts. Okay? It's coming in. Windfall of abundance. And I want you to focus on this. 
It's yours, Leo, and I want you to claim it. So be it. It's all yours, okay? I love that card for you. Now, Leos, I'm going to move ahead to the next part of your reading, which is your future health. And because the windfall of abundance has come, I am setting intention that somebody here is going to get a gift of health for Christmas, okay? So be it. For you and your loved ones. Now, let's move on to your future health, career, money, energy. Leos. Leos, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Expansion. Leo, you know, you are all about magnanimity of the heart. You're larger than life. Expect growth and expansion in your business, in your career, in your finances, also in your health, as in good health. Joy. Childlike happiness is your energy again. Pure joy. And you know this word joy and that Christmas, there is something coming to you amazing. I mean, amazing. During Christmas, we are just, you know, we're almost there. Wait for it. Don't give up. Please, joy. And I feel somebody here is going to get such amazing news about their health, such amazing news about their work projects, their career. Their it's going to just bring joy back in their life. Expansion and joy. Why? It's your destiny. And you know, I can see these two older people and these two younger people bowing. This could be something coming from your ancestors and the beautiful dharma that they have created in their life. It's being sent back to you to enjoy. And I'm, I'm setting intention. This is not just for your money. It's also for your health. For your health. This is your destiny. Be open and claim it, Leos. I love this. Makes me so happy, Leos. All right, let's go on and take some cards for my Lenormans. This is for your future health, career, and money. Leaders. Now, I have the divine masculine, fire energy, just like you. Aries, Leo, Satch. Something has been eating away at someone. Or somebody is chewing someone's brains, I feel here. Now, I have the card of the tower here. This, in this deck, talks about, you know, institutions and organizations. I don't know if there is somebody here who is a part of a very big organization, maybe the government. There's restrictions. is Saturn. I know the tower card in other decks is about, you know, Scorpio energy. Here is Saturnian. It's about hierarchies, uh, bosses, people who are red tape, blue tape. Or, you know, you, it's like this wall that they put up. You don't know who is really sitting there, but there's somebody here who is, what can I say? This is about, you know, restrictions. Somebody's putting restrictions on you. Look, I just want to know there's a rat in your midst, okay? There is a rat in your midst. Now, if some of you have been working in a big organization, huge, maybe the government, okay, where, you know, there is hierarchy, it's about doing things a certain way, there is somebody there who is, you have a rat in your midst, and I'm so sorry to say that, and this is your future, so I want you to watch out for that, okay? I want you to watch out for that. This is Chiron in Libra. This is a pest. And it's eating away something very precious, food. I don't know if somebody's eating away somebody's finances, stealthily pretending to be it to be very, very, what can I say, uh, fun and harmless. It's not. And it also talks about deficiencies. I don't know if there is somebody who may have to go into some kind of an isolation because they have some kind of deficiency. So I want to set this intention for you. So if you're experiencing anything which is health related, just go to a hospital this big institution and get yourself checked out. And perhaps it could be something as simple as a vitamin deficiency in your diet, which is causing some kind of, you know, uh, malaise or tiredness in you. I'm setting this intention for you as well. Just go ahead and check it out. But 
For the other people who are dealing with somebody in work, where they are experiencing a depletion of finances or something very precious, there is a rat in that institution. And I want you to be careful. But I am setting intention that this situation is going to come to an end. If you're facing some kind of deficiencies in your health, it's going to come to an end. If you're facing some kind of somebody eating away at your precious resources, that is going to come to an end. It's going to end this, this behavior of somebody pretending to be extremely harmless. They're not. That means you're going to find out. And you're going to bring this to an end. I want you to focus on this energy when it comes towards you. I mean, if you sense that there is something around you like that, please go and check it out. Because there is this energy for you, the Scorpio energy, to bring that situation to an end in your favor. Some of you could be going to a distant place, maybe for a vacation. This is a ship flying over these mountains, whatever these mountains are for you. Okay, in the future, whether it's for your health, whether it's for your work, you're going to be flying over them just like this. Over those mountains of troubles, over those mountains of whatever is holding you back, this ship is going to fly. I know ships don't fly, yours is. Yours is. Now, this card, when this card comes out, this is about Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. It is about optimism and faith. You know, somebody here has had to face some kind of may have to face some kind of an ending of a situation in their workplace. There's something going on here with this ending card. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're going to leave something and go to another place. It's going to bring back your optimism and your faith in life. And I want you to believe that. There is some shenanigans going on in a huge institution. I don't know if they're slowly trying to siphon someone's money or something very precious from them. Please take note of this. Now, let's take my Kipper deck, okay? So for your future, health, money, career. So first, I want to talk about this. There's a main, there's, there's a lot of masculine energy I'm talking to, Leo. Very rich young man. This is a card of Leo in this deck. This is somebody who is very good with money. I don't know if you're a banker or something with finances. Now, there's some kind of money issues going on with somebody who I'm talking to in this for the Leo's energies. Now, this is in the in your future as well. But I think it's about your mindset. Some of you are not believing that you have. You, you are very good with money. You're not having faith in yourself. I want you to know that this is somebody who, who knows how, this is somebody who's arriving. You know what I mean? It's like they've made it. It's like that apprentice who becomes a boss. But if you're going to stay in this, if this is not going to work for you. I want you to believe this energy. And there's good news coming your way. Okay? Good news. Maybe this Gemini energy for you. It's going to bring you out of this poverty. And this is my card of somebody who has arrived on the scene and the red carpet is thrown out for them. They've made it in that big circle where the big boys play. It's some energy like that. And you have that potential. Get out of this, please. Now, I also have the card of malady, which is sickness. Now, this is coming up again. And this card of poverty means it's a dearth. I think there is somebody I'm talking to who needs to go and check their vitamin D or their vitamins. There is some deficiency going on in you. Some kind of a poverty of minerals or calcium. Please go and check it out. And you're going to get good news about your health as well. And I'm setting intentions for that in the future. The card of community here. Some of you are going to be moving to a new community. One which is more plush. You could be buying a brand new home. I'm also setting intention that some of you are going to receive help, whether it's for your work or for your help from helpful people in your community. Okay. This is for your future. And I love that. Now, take some class from my Angels of Abundance cards for your future health, money, and career, Leos. Okay. Let's start with this. 
block out distractions. Don't allow people to, you know, create obstacles in your path. You know, there are some people who are trying to divert your attention. Don't allow them to do that. Block them out. And even if you are, you know, uh, self-sabotaging yourself, yeah, Leo, you know what you do. I mean, send out those resumes. Take extra care of your health. Block out things which stop you from creating abundance, whether it's in your health or in your money. Block them out. And if it's people, surely remove them from your life. Become selfish, Leo. Okay? Words of abundance. Speak. You know, speak those words that you believe in yourself, that you are going to make it. Think of money and success as something which you already have. And your mind is a magnet. Your words are your weapons. Use them. They say the universe was created with the Big Bang. It is a sound. What are you speaking to yourself? What are you speaking to the ethers? That's your message. And it's being, you know, transformed into a vibration and transmitted. And then it's sent back to you like a radio signal. Hey, speak words of abundance. And have the courage, that card of that community, to ask for help. And you shall receive it. I'm telling you, you are not alone. There is a whole community of people waiting to help you, Leos. You are not alone. Remember this. Ask for help. And when they do help you, please accept it. Don't be in your ego. That's your lower vibration. Every sign has this. You're not any exception. Now, Leos, I'm going to end this reading. With some angel answer cards for your career, health, and your money. Ready? Also, watch out for your love reading. I've done your current and your future love. Okay? Watch that reading. Leos. Leos. It's awesome. Leos, I want you to trust. Trust. Have faith. I know there's somebody here who's going through a very dark phase in their business and money. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ask your angels. This is my prayer card. Pray and set intentions for what you want. That's what prayer is. Trust. Ask your angels. Look for a sign. And sometimes these angels could be your community and your friends or your family and your loved ones. Look for a sign. And when you see that, hey, take action, Leos. Take action. So these were your validations, your confirmations. And your answered prayers, my darling Leos, comment below. Let me know what you're going through. Like, share, subscribe. It helps my little channel grow. I would love to have you as a part of my little community on YouTube. I will be setting intentions for your health, for your love, for your career, for your money, for peace in your life. All you have to do is manifest your dream life with me. So until then, Go watch your reading for love. Don't miss out. I'm going to come back and do another reading for you very soon. But until then, I'll say goodbye, Leo. I love you. Namaste. Just remember, you are loved. You are guarded. You are guided. You are always protected, Leos. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Mm -hmm.